Hello everybody, Interi Interi back again with another video and today's video guys is going to be to preview the semi-finals that we have ahead of us in US Open. If I dare to do any previews because the quarterfinals preview I had only one right and it was of course, jo uh, of course Nadal against Schwartzman. All the other three previews, Federer, Dimitrov, I was wrong there, Dimitrov won, Monfils, Berrettini, I was wrong there, Ber Berrettini won, a five set epic big battle. 7-5 in that fifth set tiebreak and the uh, the fourth quarterfinals between Stan Wawrinka and Medvedev I was wrong there Medvedev won even though Medvedev looked almost dead on the court he could he had more or less pain everywhere in his body but Stan did a horrible match but that is the that is kind of Stan's uh, uh, typical Stan he he can do amazing matches sometimes, like he did against Djokovic, even even though Djokovic was not 100%. But and then he can just do uh, disaster matches. That is, Stan is so unpredictable. You never know where you have that guy. Anyway, enough about Stan. We're gonna preview these two semifinals that we have ahead of US Open. This is one more easy one, more uh, clear one to me, and one more not that easy to predict in my opinion and the first one i'm going to start with it is between rafa nadal and matteo Berrettini. they have never faced each other matteo Berrettini, who is an upcoming young gun from Itali it italian i think he's 20 23 years old he has won three titles all in all in his career two titles this year one in one uh, 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 one in one on grass in stuttgart I remember especially that one when he won without dropping his serve, without dropping one single set. And uh, another one he won earlier this year, uh, I don't remember exactly where. Uh, so Matteo, Berti Matteo Berrettini has surprised us in US Open. Not that I, I, not, I didn't have Matteo Berrettini not even on my top eight list or as a dark horse. So he has done a really, really huge run here in US Open. And he has done it with this enormous big forehand and with this enormous big serve. He played a fourth round match in Wimbledon two months ago, lost there to Roger Federer. Roger, Roger totally destroyed him there in straight sets. I think in that fourth match against Federer, Matteo Bretini in Wimbledon, the moment got, uh, got up, uh, cut, cut, uh, the moment caught up with him the moment cut up with him he 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 choked in that match oh no you can't call choke he just melted down in that match he was not ready mentally he to face his idol roger federer now he's, he's gonna face another idol rafael nadal whom he has never faced each other so rafa and matteo Bertini are playing for the first time against each other Rafa is, of course, the overall main favorite here. It will be a huge upset if Matteo Bretini defeats Rafa Nadal. It's one thing to defeat Gael Monfils. It's one thing to defeat Andre Rublev, which Matteo Bretini has done so far in US Open. But, it's a, but it is a total different story to defeat Rafa Nadal. He is not going to let this golden opportunity slip from his hands. He is in US Open to bite that trophy on Sunday. And I think he will do it. I think he will take down Matteo Berrettini. Exactly like he took down Diego Schwartzman. But Matteo Berrettini has some weapons that, who, that can hurt Rafa Nadal. For ex like Diego didn't have. Diego is a consistent baseline grinder, but Diego doesn't have a big serve. Diego doesn't have a big forehand. Diego has solid ground strokes with his both wings, forehand and backhand, but to beat Rafa Nadal, you have to have something special. You have to have a huge weapon in your arsenal. And Matteo Bretini has two of them, forehand and serve. But it is always a but when you face Rafa Nadal. He will expose your weaknesses. And what are Matteo Bretini's weaknesses? Returns and backhand. You cannot have weaknesses against Rafa Nadal because Rafa Nadal is a complete tennis player. If Novak Djokovic is a complete tennis player, Rafa Nadal is absolutely not less complete than Novak. He has everything in his arsenal. Forehand, backhand, serve, returns, consistency from the baseline great mover and Rafa has improved his serves tremendously if you look Rafa 
10 years ago. He, he is hitting his spots better. He is hitting the serves harder. He is doing more services. He is a beast, my friends. That's why he doesn't lose to anyone. I have said it so many times before. I will say it again. Rafa Nadal doesn't lose to anybody. Period. Matteo Bretini is not a bad player whatsoever. But he is not named Novak Djokovic. He is not named Roger Federer. And Rafa Nadal, who does he lose more or less nowadays in slams only to Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer? He doesn't lose to other dudes. Matteo Berrettini needs to perform his match of his life to even have a chance against Rafa Nadal. And even then, I don't know if it will be enough because Rafa Nadal, he is so consistent. It is, it is a nightmare to face a player like Rafa Nadal because he doesn't give you anything. Like I've said so many times before, like I want, I don't want to repeat myself, but I have to. To beat Djokovic, to beat Federer, you don't need to do your match of your life, like Stan didn't do against Djokovic, like, like uh, D Grigor Dimitrov didn't do against Federer. And someone may, m some of you have commented on my latest video and said, why don't you comment, why are you not commenting Roger Federer, he was injured. I have said it so many times, and I will say it again, I hate excuses. I am not saying that Roger Federer was 100% in that fourth and in, and, and, in that, and in that fifth set. But man, these are professional tennis players. They are playing at the highest possible level. They will have pain here and there. Dalian Medvedev had pain here and there against Stan Van Vrinke in the quarterfinals. He, he had... He has shoulder problems, he has thigh problems, he has knee problems, he has back problems, you name it. He has pain everywhere to compare. And who can blame it considering how many tennis matches Daniel Medvedev had played the last four weeks? But he won. And Roger Federer, he had some pain in the back, in the neck. I get that. But he was still playing. He. He was still playing and he lost. He lost. He did 61 unfrost that he lost. I'm not gonna sit here in these YouTube videos and say, ah, oh, Roger, he was he was injured. That's why, that's why he lost. Look, man. I'm not gonna sit here and come and say a lot of uh, excuses. Stav Avrinka, I've heard rumored he was sick in this mess with that. I don't care. If, I don't come and sit here as Stan lost because he was sick. That's why he lost this mess with that. No. No, 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 no. I don't work like that. Stan, we know that he's so inconsistent. He is one of the most inconsistent tennis players of all time. Stan Wawrinka, together with Marat Safin, a former Russian player who has won two Grand Slam titles in his career. You never know where you have this kind of dude. Stan Wawrinka, Marat Safin. Nobody is perfect. I am not healthy. I am not 100% when I go to work either. You know what I mean? So, Federer was not 100% healthy in, in the Grigor Dimitrov match, especially not after the third set. But I don't gonna sit here and give a lot of excuses. I'm, not, I'm refusing. I'm refusing. It's period. Anyway, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go out of, out of my topic. The match between Matteo Bertini and Rafa Nadal. Rafa will win this in straight sets. Straight sets. Matteo Bertini, I think he will trouble Rafa. I think he will push Rafa. I think he will make Rafa run for his money. A run for his money, but in the end of the day, Rafa will, will be the most the, the the most consistent one on the court. And how, what makes a tennis player successful? What many things, but I'm going to say two things that are important. The player who do who does less unforced errors, a la Rafa Nadal, a la Novak Djokovic, and a player who does a lot of winners, a la Roger Federer, a la Stan Wawrinka when Stan Wawrinka is on fire. Roger Federer never wins tennis matches by winning less unforced errors than his opponents. What was the problem with Roger Federer against Dimitrov? Not that he did 61 unforced errors. Yes, it is a lot. Yes, I know that. But if Roger had, would have made 70 winners, he would have won the match. Even if, he, if Roger would have made 65 winners. Even if Roger would have made 60 winners. But Roger did only 40 winners. That's why he lost. You are, you are getting my point? Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic, they never do as many winners as Roger Federer. Of course, because they have different tennis styles. They are not first-strike tennis players. They are not going for the lines. They are not playing with small margins as Roger Federer. They are not attacking as Roger Federer does. 
Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic are more baseline grinders, are more baseline solid baseline players. They they wait more for his opponents to miss. Their tactics is more. I'm, I'm gonna hit every ball, every ball, every ball till you miss. Or if I have if I have a good position, if I have a good uh, uh, ball on the court, a short ball on the court, then I'm gonna do a winner. They, they absolutely can do winners, Djokovic and Nadal as well, but of course not as much winners as Roger Federer. So what does players make successful? The players who does most winners and the players who does less unforced errors. And Rafa Nadal is the best player of all time of doing least unforced errors, in my opinion. And that's why he is so difficult to beat, because you have to beat him. You have to, literally speaking, beat him. He will not beat himself. Do I believe Matteo Berrettini will beat Rafa Nadal with 70, 80 winners, what, what it will be required? No, I don't think so. Matteo Berrettini will do, I believe, 30, 40, maybe 50 winners, but he will do a lot of monsters as well, because Rafa Nadal will kill that backhand, like Rafa always does with players with a weaker... Uh, shot in his arsenal and the 90% of the players on the OTP Tour have their weaker shots is the backhand. So Rafa Nadal will kill that backhand. That Matteo Berrettini will not have many opportunities to hit forehands because Rafa is not stupid. He knows Matteo Berrettini's what is his biggest weapons, serve and forehand. Even though Rafa has never faced him before, he knows what what will happen on the court because he has a team, he has eyes, he, they will study Matteo Berrettini. So the winner in this semi-final between Matteo Berrettini and Rafa Nadal will be Rafa Nadal. I think he will win in straight sets. The other semi-final between Daniel Medvedev and uh, Grigor Dimitrov, uh, Grigor, Grigor Dimitrov, who is also a surprise. Medvedev is not a surprise because we all know what Medvedev has done a couple of weeks. I don't even need to mention that, you all guys know that. Grigor Dimitrov has been a mess in two years' time almost now, and he is he has gone to a semifinals. Very, very fine. Uh, very, I'm very happy for him, even though I'm not his big fan. Uh, but I don't I like his game style because he has a similar game style like Roger Federer. He is a shot maker, he can hit winners from his forehand, he has a great serve, he has solid solid returns, not amazing returns, but solid. His his weakness is his backhand, in my opinion, in Grigor Dimitrov's in Grigor, in Grigor Dimitrov's game. I think that the, I, I would be sure that Medvedev would win against Grigor Dimitrov. But the thing that I'm not, I'm doubting little is that Medvedev. He has played so much, so many, so much, so much tennis the last four, three, four weeks. He has, he is, he is looking tired. He looked tired against Stan Wawrinka. He looked worn down. He looked hurt every, everywhere in his body. But Stan, he did a horrible match, and that's why he lost. Stan should be furious with himself why he lost that match. But that is typical Stan. You never know what you have, where you have it. So enough about Stan. So I hope if Medvedev is not 100% healthy against Grigor, he will lose. But I don't know. I'm going with Medvedev. I think the Medvedev will be too solid. Even though Medvedev may, he may be, probably is not 100% healthy and will not be that in the semifinals. But I just think that Medvedev, he will, wear, he will not give Grigor 61 unforced errors like Roger did. Medvedev will not do that because Medvedev is a walking, running wall. He is a baseline grinder he will blow he will blow he will trade he will trade and he will ask questions to Grigor Dimitrov are you ready to to hang on with me on the, on the baseline are you ready to hit through me Grigor has the a possibility to three to hit through Medvedev he really has but I think that Grigor can will do a lot of unforced errors as well because Medvedev will force him to do that and um, I feel that the head-to-head -head between these two are 1-1. They faced each other two times. It was two years ago in 2017. One time on grass and one time on hard court. They have won one time each. But they have never faced each other in a Grand Slam. This is a five-set match. So it is a different story. It is. It will be a more physical battle. Uh, I'm not saying that Grigor cannot win this match. Absolutely, he can win this match. I will not be surprised. It is not easy to predict. I feel that the most easy player to predict nowadays is Nadal because you know, always know what you get from Nadal. You always know. You always know. He will, he will bring that consistency level on the court. But you never know with Medvedev. You never know with Grigor. You never know with Federer. And to some extent with Djokovic as well, even though Djokovic is pretty, 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 pretty consistent as well.
like Rafa Nadal. But with Federer, you never know with him. The dude is 38, 38 years old, so what can you what can, what can you expect really? But the other players that we are proving, that we are predicting, it really can go either way. And this match between Medvedev and Grigor can go either way. But I will put my money, not not that I bet on uh, money, but I'm just saying I would put my money on Medvedev. I think that Medvedev will go to that US Open final, but I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. I don't want to see our US Open final between Rafael Nadal and Darren Medvedev. This US Open is already has already been dead since Djokovic and Federer lost. We don't need to have a predictable US Open final like we had two years ago when Rafa totally, completely destroyed Kevin Anderson in that US Open final in straight sets. We really don't need to have a repeat of that US Open final two years later. I I think that Grigory is a more threat to Rafa Nadal than what Medvedev is. Not that I think Grigor will defeat Rafa Nadal because nobody will defeat Rafa Nadal. Rafa Nadal will, will bite that trophy on Sunday. But I think that Grigor will give Rafa more of a fight. Uh, that's why, because the matchup between Medvedev and Rafa Nadal is so horrible. Medvedev doesn't have the weapons. Medvedev doesn't have the... Uh, he cannot hit through Rafa Nadal. We saw that what happened in Montreal four weeks ago. Rafa totally, completely destroyed Medvedev 6-3, 6-0. So it will be more exciting. It will be more fun for the tennis lovers from the uh, to see a, a Grand Slam final between Rafa Nadal and Grigor, and, and Grigor Dimitrov. That is what, how I feel. I know what, what you guys feel. The worst scenario would be here if Rafa Nadal faced Grigor, uh, Daniel Medvedev. I don't care that Daniel Medvedev is what, probably the most in shape tennis player in the world. Against Rafa Nadal, he will not have a chance. He will not have a chance. And we all already saw that in Montreal four weeks ago. So, but I think that Medvedev, I think that Medvedev will beat Grigor, Grigor Dimitrov. Just, I just feel that I have my feeling is that he will do. He will be too consistent. He will ask questions to Grigor Dimitrov. Will you? Can you put on with me? Can you hit through me? Can you stand with me from the baseline? Can you trade blows with me? And this question will Grigor be ready to answer this one? This these questions? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I'm not. I think that Grigor can can take one or two sets. But I, my feeling is that Medvedev will win in four sets. But who knows? Maybe I will be wrong. I had three wrong predictions in the quarterfinals, and I am not sure that I will be. I am not sure that I will have two rights here. I, I am pretty. I am hundred percent sure that I will be right on the Rafa Nadal, Matteo Berrettini match. But I am not sure about Grigor Dimitrov and Dan Medvedev. I am really am not. All right, guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and bye bye.